it all came about the need of information. When the community wanted a newspaper that talks about their problems, their grievances, so that they could share up with the outside world. Almost half a million people living in a surrounding of 10 kilometers, and then there is nobody who is telling their story. Why can't we have a newspaper that can talk for our community? It was 2010, and we, when we have started the refugee newsletter. Uh, it is written by refugees for the refugee community here in the dam. Because we have the refugee newspaper running in, in a refugee camp, which is not something uh, uh, usual in, in, in camps. And it's important for the DAB to have its own newspaper because in the DAB we have a considerable number of populations here in the camp and, uh, and we don't have also a medium of communication. Good morning. I have a newspaper for you. They have a lot of stories and experience to share with the world and the rest of the stakeholders. So this is the only newspaper, the refugee newspaper is the only one that uh, airs out their views. Look at here, children from Kabul's post with, the, with their newly acquired books and pens donated by the Dab Refugee Group. Having this newspaper is important because the stories are uh, written uh, by us. And one of the most uh, inspiring stories I wrote was the one I documented uh, a story of somebody who was sick and he had a tumor on his face and I did that story myself and uh, the man was really helped. Uh, I have had a friend primary school as a school of uh, different nationality. Can you at least give me a brief about yeah, okay, friend primary school? This school contains uh, almost three different nationalities. We are. It takes a lot to be a journalist. Uh, one of the advantages of being a journalist, you are able to raise uh, the voice of other people to be heard. Since my childhood, I had a dream that I one day become a professional journalist or a professional reporter and that dream had come into reality. It's important this story to be told because this story are affecting uh, the life of the refugee camp because there are some stories that are drastically impacting the refugee life and uh, there are some stories if they are not told they can also uh, they can have their own and uh, negative consequences. So we said let us take this opportunity let us be the people that can bring change. Let us be the people that can tell the world that this half a million people have voice and say that these camps and the people who are living in these camps are no more existing, but they are alive. They are alive.